What is going on my friends, Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wall Club and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show where I'm discussing what is hot, what is happening right now in the crypto space and of course we have a lot to talk about, we'll talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, of course the current prices, whether or not we're going to see some pullback in the next coming days or we're going to blast past the $50,000 level and Ethereum past the $4,000 level in the immediate short term. We'll talk about the SEC and their investigation into the largest decentralized exchange in the world right now, Uniswap. We'll talk about the secret meeting between US, Texas and the miners and oil and gas industry and what they are talking about. Uh, we'll share what's happening in India and how they are right now classifying Bitcoin in India and how much eToro, one of the largest trading platform doing IPO is actually have been buying Bitcoin at what levels. It will surprise you and we'll talk about the Bitcoin dominance and what it can reveal. Also Ethereum dominance for those coins. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get this started. Right now we are in a market cap of $2.4 trillion almost. We are almost there at the all-time high, just another $100 billion to the all-time high in May. So overall, things are looking good. Uh, we are seeing Bitcoin is struggling a little bit at the $50,000 level, but the bears watch out because if we can convincingly move past the $50,000, the mark to $60,000 will be uh, not so long one. Ethereum is also struggling at the $4,000 level currently and other altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin by big time in the recent weeks. Um, so overall, things are looking good. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, the price and where we are standing right now. We are about to close in 12 hours. Another awesome week for Bitcoin. Uh, this candle looks good over the previous week and uh, overall things are still uptrending the bulls are in control however we do need to see more volume coming in if we zoom in a little bit closer on the one hourly chart we can see a descending triangle forming right now and it looks like it attempted to break it out just a couple hours uh, earlier but it was rejected and right now confirm a support so let's see we need to see some more volume coming in to confirm this can easily uh, go up and it can easily go down as well. Right now is not too clear, but overall the trend is your friend until the end and the trend is definitely looking good for Bitcoin. Ethereum right now is uh, also struggling at the, at the $4,000 level approximately and uh, we might see some bearish divergence forming right now on a daily chart when the prices go up but the RSI that measures the strengths and the momentum of uh, the asset is actually going down which means that we might see some pullback and it will not surprise me that we'll see some pullback in Ethereum. If that happens, it will have an opportunity to buy the dip. However, we've seen Ethereum surprise us all the time in the last couple of years when those type of bearish divergences were not really playing out in the end and we uh, violently broke to the upside. Like for example, uh, right here at this level, we just kept pushing up and up and up despite the bearish divergence forming at this point in time, right? So Ethereum can surprise us as well right now. We do need to see some more volume coming in. Just be careful right now, be careful because we easily can pull back any moment. Now let's take a look at the dominance of Bitcoin and Ethereum and what we can learn from it. Now, it's not a surprise that we can see the Bitcoin dominance is going down with time. This is the all time uh, for Bitcoin because more coins are entering the market. Ethereum is better, getting bigger. We have DeFi space that is booming right now past the hundred billion dollars. So we are definitely seeing the trends that Bitcoin uh, attempted to break out right here and it had a failed twice double top right here at 68%, right here at 69%. And then we started to climb down and fall. This is where the altcoins absolutely boomed. <clears throat> and you can see this is a multi-year long chart 
where Ethereum first broke it right here back in 2017 and Ethereum reached 20% right here. It struggled a little bit right here two times and then finally it broke it uh, right here towards 31%. Uh, the Ethereum actually was 31% of Bitcoin price back in uh, June 2017. Since then, we were on a multi-year downtrend for the Ethereum dominance, as you can see, creating lower highs and lower highs. And finally, recently, right here, after many years, on May, 17th of May, we did finally break up and Ethereum um, broke out to here towards 19% and it, it it stayed a little bit here for 20 90 20 percent you see touching 20 percent exactly on 9th of august 2021 so if we can successfully break the 20 percent ethereum dominance ethereum will be like a rocket ship uh and it can take it all the way to twenty thousand dollars so that's very exciting to see we'll uh, need to follow up with this and see how well ethereum dominance is really able to break the 20 percent and if you take a look at the other coins beside ethereum all of the other coins previously were briefly touching right here uh for a very short period of time the dominance of other coins part of bitcoin has actually been more dominant and right now you can see it's it's 19 percent standing so overall um the altcoins are looking good and uh, <laughs> it will not surprise you guys that uh, as bitcoin can climb a little bit maybe do another 2x the other altcoins have a much bigger chance to do much more than 2x 3x 5x 10x uh and more than some of their other coins and will reflect in the graph all right let's talk about some important things in the news First is uh, I want to share with you about this uh, secret meeting between the Bitcoin miners and oil and gas executives. This time it was over 200 executives that they met in uh, Texas and they actually discussed how they can use the natural gas that is wasted right now, a lot of it, and uh, help the miners that are moving from China to Texas to welcome them and to provide them opportunity to have cheap electricity for the Bitcoin mining and uh, create this kind of, uh, you know, win-win uh, scenario. So this is very, very good uh, for the industry. Uh, this guy that organized it, he had an orange pill, which means uh, back in November 2020, he was convinced, right? He was a fiat mine person, but he was converted into a full Bitcoin believer right so a month later he co-founded olympia creek technologies which powers bitcoin mining rigs which flared vented and stranded natural gas assets so right now they're discussing how uh, more demand is rushing to texas and how they can uh, accommodate those chinese miner miners looking for a new home new home for their my uh, for their mining. so that's uh, that's actually happening okay like for example this bitcoin miner alejandro de la torre that was born in spain spent years minting bitcoin all over the world and after in china including and when beijing cracked down on all things crypto de la torre got a call from his boss at 3 a.m telling him he had to go to texas texas baby since then he's been shipping his new generation mining gear to the us uh, united states in bulk so texas is uh, definitely welcoming, welcoming new crypto miners uh, from China and other places and are exploring how they can take the gas uh, essentially and uh, use it in mining. Now for more regulatory clarity in India, finally, after years of being uh, it almost like illegal in India, right now cryptocurrencies going to be treated as commodities and if they are commodities they're going to be taxed which means they're legal and uh, people can india finally can freely buy and sell crypto and 
uh, pay taxes accordingly. But this this is a movement in the right direction uh, for India people. So that's very very good. Uh, Bloomberg senior strategist now calls for Bitcoin as being a global reserve asset. You know, gold was a global reserve asset until 1971, then when the president Nixon has abandoned the gold standard. And uh, right now, essentially, Bitcoin can take the role of uh, this global reserve asset on the past to $100,000 per one Bitcoin. Uh, but with that being said, with that being said, you don't need to forget about the other altcoins that can do much, much better. But he's saying portfolios of some combination of golds and bonds appear increasingly naked without some Bitcoin and Ethereum join the mix. A macro risk of decline is a primary threat of the crypto bull market. Uh, Bitcoin most passionate supporters have long argued that the crypto would be mature to become a global reserve asset. Their conviction stems from Bitcoin's superior monetary policy in an era where central banks have inflated the money supply, contributing to wealth inequality and higher price for good services and assets. Okay, very, very interesting. Uh, next up. September usually was a bad month historically for Bitcoin. The last four or five months are actually negative red months. However, if we can break the $50,000 mark, uh, we can have this momentum to carry all the way to $60,000. And this stock to flow model, we are deviating from it slightly right now. But it's not the first time that we have deviated from it uh, from before. So we may be very well on track. Now, eToro is about to do an IPO at an explosive growth, 22 million customers around the world. And essentially, they were buying Bitcoin for 10 bucks. Yeah, they, as low as $5, $10, they've been buying $50,000 of Bitcoin, an average price of about $10 to $20 per Bitcoin. So right now, those bitcoins are worth 30 to 40 million dollars so it pays off to hodl <laughs> to hodl bitcoin over the long term really nice and this is what's happening a lot of these companies will not really share how much bitcoin they have been buying before they're not like micro strategy that has been vocal that has been very transparent with everybody how much bitcoin they have acquired as a company uh here we go with toro just now revealed hey we've been buying bitcoin actually from 10 bucks <laughs> and a lot of more companies will come out of the woodway and say hey we've been buying too right uh twitter seems to be testing right now the ability to display bitcoin and ethereum addresses on twitter profiles that will not surprise me as twitter is a uh, ceo jake dorsey is a bitcoin maximalist and uh, essentially this is a good thing towards this direction when people on twitter can set up their wallet use the lightning network of bitcoin and people can be tipping uh essentially on twitter using bitcoin that's a step in the right direction now speaking about some competitors to ethereum we have solana been making a lot of headlines uh, we have jason derulo very famous artist tweeting i'm writing solana which means he bought solana and uh, not many other artists and, and singers are talking about Solana, actually. And Jason Derulo spoke up, which is good, good, good things for Solana. Uh, finally, for today, this is the uh, essentially reported investigations by the SEC, the US-based SEC, into Uniswap Labs. And you know, Uniswap is the largest by far today uh, crypto decentralized exchange in the world the DeFi space and regulars are attempting to catch up to DeFi. they want to investigate uniswap why <laughs> maybe a broader um essentially uh, legislation is coming into the DeFi sector uh for now the regulars have been uh, quite confused and not really um that much understanding involvement into the decentralized finance decentralized exchanges so they're trying to tap into that more learn more about how uniswap works what they are doing for marketing and uh because DeFi became so big 
It's right now the DEX has reached nearly 163 billion dollars in volume. And uh, here's what some people have to say about it, about this investigation, Uniswap. Uniswap is everything good about America. The tech leadership, innovation, massively successful, produces massive revenue. Everyone is happy with Uniswap. There are no complaints. So the SEC is not protecting US. They are protecting someone else. Here's what Jake Chervinsky is saying. Imagine you're a regulator looking at the wide world of crypto. You see overt frauds pulling rugs. 2017 Vaporwave ICO still pushing their tokens. Copy paste DeFi projects pumping and dumping on centralized EVM forks. You think this and think Uniswap. I'll go after Uniswap. <laughs> well, I dare going after Uniswap. Here is what Eric for Hoops has to say. There is no universe in which SEC will investigate a profound innovation like Uniswap. This is finally occurred is, isn't interesting. What is interesting is whether SEC can form any legally coherent allegations and whether such allegations can affect the Uniswap protocol. And remember, and this is critical, Uniswap is the name for two things. The centralized company Uniswap Labs and a decentralized open source protocol Uniswap they exchanged. The latter is forkable, the decentralized, uh, right? The decentralized open source protocol is forkable, immutable, and answers only to its own code. Yes, the code is there. The code is there. So we'll see how this is going to progress. And if you wonder how big this world of decentralized exchanges, it's huge. <laughs> it is massive if you don't know how many decentralized exchanges are built on top of the blockchains check this out right this is decentralized projects on phantom on polkadot on terra on cardano on avalanche here's on polygon here's on solana this is all dexes 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 right here is uh, on binance smart chain look at this baby swap soup swap <laughs> this world of decentralized finance is so huge uh ethereum uniswap in the way but there is also dodo zero x sushi swap quick swap one inch all of these are decentralized exchanges yes and uh, also NFT, NFT guys, NFT. The Soda Buys board app bundle could fetch $18 million in sales. Those board ape yacht clubs and their mutant app collections are raking in millions and millions of dollars. You can see right here, $238 million in seven day trading volume. NFT marketplace is huge but at some point this nft bubble is going to also slow down it's going to collapse there are going to be some uh prices uh, not going up but actually going down <laughs> it happens in every industry and if you want to learn and discover how you can receive reward daily on a daily basis and triple your money passively with the world's blockchain strongest blockchain alliance membership this is a multi-billion dollar group that you can align yourself with you can go to crypto rewards daily.com to learn more about it and check it out absolutely amazing what they are doing with that being said hopefully you have a fantastic day please subscribe to bitcoin's walls club group and channel support it they put a like it helps to help more people to watch uh, the news so you can spread more goodness and more message about what is happening in the crypto space so you are aware so you already know so have a happy sunday a blessed week and i'll see you in the next episode of today in crypto show